Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil, playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. In this video, I'll show you one of the best ways of how to get rid of villagers in Animal Crossing, and how you can use this technique to get rid of specific villagers in Animal Crossing. And if you're ready to get started, then subscribe, hit that notification bell, and smash that like button. So one of the things that I've been digging into lately was how to get rid of villagers in Animal Crossing. I've tried so many different rumors and suggestions, uh, but I may have stumbled upon another way that you can move out villagers in Animal Crossing. You can actually use the campsite's mechanics. And there he is, such a cute little puppy. He's fishing for butterflies though, what an idiot. So if you've been keeping up with me on my other videos, which is the one here, you'll know that I had a hatred for Renee. So I may have a special moment coming up in the video, so stay tuned. Winky face. So it took several times to get Kyle invited to my island. He kept mentioning about moving and I would invite him and then he'd turn around and deny it. But I did some research and found out that if you just keep pestering them, then they will eventually cave to your request. People let me tell you about my best friend. So for Kyle, it was playing a card game and if I chose the correct color, then he was going to move to the island. And then if I chose the wrong one, he was not going to move. Leave me a comment below and let me know what the coolest thing is that you've gotten from winning one of these card games. I did end up winning one game with Kyle, and I got an instant muscle suit, which is super awesome. Renee is on her way out. Guys, I'm super stoked. I've been, I've been trying to get rid of Renee for probably... It's been a month and a half or more, so I just wanted to come in here and kiss this rhino goodbye. So during the conversation with him, I actually lost a card game to win a prize several times in a row. And I also lost the card game several times in a row to get him to move to the island. So it doesn't matter how many times you play, if you win it once, the character is going to move to your island. Alright guys, we are at, uh, I believe it was day two day two and logging back in and as you can see Kyle is gonna be moving in so excited so one thing I wanted to point out here is that uh, make sure that if you're time traveling that you time travel one day at a time after you've accepted the invite from the campsite villager otherwise uh, when you when you if you jump too far ahead if you actually if you jump three days ahead or more uh, Kyle, for example, would still be stuck with Renee's house, which is pretty terrible. So, uh, just keep that in mind. Skip one day at a time. And then, of course, if you're not time traveling, then you don't have to worry about that. Now, the next part is where he talked to resident services, and they said that there wasn't any uh, open housing plots. So he asked if he could talk to another villager to see if he could move them out so he could move in. The first time, he asked if he could move out Rocco. And I really like Rocco, so I didn't want that to happen. So what you need to do there is close the game out immediately. You don't save, you don't continue forward in that conversation or anything. You, you just basically kill the game immediately. And so when you log back into the game, you'll have to go through the entire recruiting process of playing the card games and etc. with that campsite villager. And then he should choose a different character to try to move them out. If not, then just keep repeating that process until he chooses the right villager that you want to move out. So in this other video I made, I explained how the campsite mechanics work. So for example, how often villagers spawn into the campsite, the exact process behind what I use today, and a lot more. So don't forget to check that one out. I'll put a link in the description. Hey look, it's Kyle. It's not Renee. Good morning everyone, right now it's 11.52 on the 12th and to, for today's announcements we have a new friend on our island. Alright, welcome to Kyle. He's a yellow wolf with polka dotted legs, purple eyes, pink little ears. Hey, there it is, pretty cool looking house. This is Kyle's house. Alright, let's, let's go in, he's probably still in boxes. Yep, dude is it still in boxes. Pretty cool looking house. He's got an all metal house. Um, so this is day three, so I think day four he will be completely moved in. Alright, day number four. Good morning everyone. It's Wednesday the 13th. No news. Alright, day number four. Here he is. He is fully moved in. What a cool little house. So, yep, he's still got some few boxes over here, so I'm wondering if on day five those will go away. 
but as you can see, it takes about four days for them to completely move in, and you are good to go. Hey Kyle, what's happening, bro? You are not Renee. I am so excited. Alright, so here's a quick summary for those that like bullet point instructions. Step one is to get a campsite villager. Step two, convince them to move in. Step three, they will choose a random villager. And then step four is quit the game and restart if it's not the specific villager that you want gone. Step number five, repeat the process until they choose the right villager you want. I use this process to get rid of a villager that simply ignoring them wouldn't work. Take a look at one of my other Animal Crossing how-to videos that are on the screen right now. And also don't forget to check out my channel and subscribe.